here at MacGyver's Workshop, we build, fix, or re-engineer just about anything. You never know what we'll be working on next. And if you're not too careful, you just might learn something. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of MacGyver's Workshop. Today, uh, I've had a uh, need to put a new set of tires on the back of my little mini backhoe. It's a little Bolin's... Uh, tractor, mini tractor that has a front end loader bucket and a little backhoe digger on the back of it. And uh, you've probably seen a couple of videos I've done on it. And uh, the uh, put front tires on it, but now it's time for some back ones. But uh, these back ones are a little tough, so it's, I have to use a, uh, you know, like a tire machine type tool. And normally my buddy Daddy Tech in over here next door he uh, he has uh, he actually has both the uh, mini one and the regular car tire hand manual tool, but uh, thought maybe the the mini one would do the job, and uh, he brought it over last night, and it was uh, sadly it was missing one of the pieces, but uh, wouldn't it wasn't big enough to do this tire anyway. So, and since it's Easter Sunday, there's no way in Hades I'm going over to. I'm going to go over there and ask him about the other one. So, the cool thing is, is that Harbor Freight had a massive Easter sale going on today. And it was already marked half off, the tire tool, uh, which was like 70 bucks or something, or 80 bucks. So, it was marked down to $39.99, plus I had a 25% off super coupon. So, I got the thing for like $29, so I couldn't argue with that. And, uh, anyway, we're going to get on here and... Uh, get this uh, going here. I'm going to move the camera around a little bit, get a better look at things, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so what we have here is a uh, roughly a 12-inch rim uh, tire. It goes on the back of the little mini backhoe, and as you can see, it's all dry rotted and pooched through and everything. That tire is probably about 20 years old, so it doesn't know anybody anything. And uh, now, that bead is uh, seated very, very tightly on that rim, so I'm going to need a little help getting it off. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this. Now, that's for a regular size car tire. Uh, the one that uh, Daddy Tech Ant brought over was the mini one that's, you know, good for... Uh, smaller tires like they say golf cart go-kart whatever but it w just wasn't quite big enough to uh, the little adapter thing wouldn't go through the hole in the rim because the, the hole in the rim was too big so as it turned out that wouldn't have worked anyway despite the fact that the one of the pieces was missing so so we're gonna pop this little bad boy open here and I'll lay out all the bits and bobs and we'll see what it looks like Alrighty, so let's uh, open this thing up here. Using my trusty lineman scissors. Alright, the instructions. Looks easy enough, huh? like I'm going to be busy for a minute unpacking all this stuff so I'm going to stop the camera and then when I get it all laid out here then I'll let you see it. Okay so now I got all the miscellaneous packing crap in the box. I know we're not going to take it back because I checked all the pieces and parts are there and we'll take this all out to the burn pile which is a good thing out in the country because when you live out in the country, you can have a burn pile. Of course, we've had like a week's worth of rain in a day here uh, yesterday or the day before, so we don't have to worry too much about the about the. Uh, we don't have to worry too much about the fire hazard because there's water puddled everywhere. And of course, we always keep a hose at the ready just in case for safety. But 
the other thing about in springtime around here, the wind changes direction like every two minutes. It's blowing this way now. It was blowing the other way a minute ago. Huh. Well, anyway, back to it. All right, so there's all the bits and bobs there. So we're going to take all that and make that here in about a minute. So I don't think you guys want to see an assembly video on one of these. So I'll turn the camera off and then when we're ready to actually do some tire work, then we'll get to see it. So, with all the, no matter how much jumping around and prying and everything I did on the meat of this tire, this tool, which really does need to be bolted down to the ground someplace where you can do it, you just push it down there and pop that bead off just as nice as you please. God, I love physics. And then you just some sort of platform, and I agree. But you know what? Given the lack of one of these things, I'm happy with it regardless, just to have it. Because uh, these tires are a royal pain in the butt. So, now this old tire had a tube in it, so we're gonna be farting around with that for a bit. All right, so, got my old tire off. Right chair in all of its busted glory here. And got my rim. I'll have to do some cleaning on it. There's clean bead surface and all that up. And then we got our nice new tires here to go on those rims. And we'll be good to go. 
go. So I'm gonna call this little joker a winner, especially if you can get it for like almost three quarters off. So uh, I'm definitely a, a big fan of that. So you know, like I said, Jim was right. You really need to have this thing bolted down somewhere. But even still, you know, uh, even if you got to fight with it standalone, it's still worth it. So anyway. Thank you for watching, and as always, feel free to leave comments. We always like to know what you feel and what you think, and if there's anything you want to see, you know, in the future, let us know. And uh, of course, you can also uh, reach us at MacGyversWorkshop at gmail.com. So, thank you again for watching, and Happy Easter. I'm going to go get me some of that Easter chow.